of the three founding partners of episode one. Um, I have been, I've never had a proper job, so I was an investment banker for six or seven years, and then I moved into an investment role with a private equity firm, and I did that for 20 years, uh, and then did some uh, early stage angel investing, uh, joined Octopus Investments, which is another early stage venture firm, and that's where I met my partner, um, Simon Murdoch, who has had plenty of proper jobs. So Simon uh, sold his business to Amazon uh, back in the day um, and was Amazon's first employee outside the US, I think, and ran Amazon in Europe for a couple of years, um, launched Amazon outside the UK. So he has had a proper job. He um, is also a pretty decent investor, so he has had investments. He's been an early stage investor in uh, Betfair, Zoopla, which will mean something to the UK uh, audience, but not much to people elsewhere. Shazam, which I hope will mean a lot to most people in the room, um, and a number of other businesses, Shuttle, which sold to eBay recently. So Simon's a fantastic investor. There are three of us who are partners at the firm. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to invest between £250,000 and a million pounds into UK-based, so they have to be UK-based companies, software-driven. We don't do hardware, as I think I've said to three or four of you guys in the audience uh, this morning. And um, in contrast to, to Seth and the guys, We've been going for 12 months. Uh, we have a very small fund. Um, and um, we think we're a decent mixture of investor, that's me, and entrepreneur Simon. And like you, um, we're a pretty small team in a pretty competitive market with some pretty big and ugly competition. So we've got Balderton, Index, Axel. So you might ask yourself, so how are three jokers who've sort of met in the last two years uh, going to compete with those guys? Fair question. Um, and we think there are two things that we are doing um, in the London scene that differentiate ourselves from other people. Uh, you be the judge. The first thing is that we are fast decision makers. So we will have a one hour meeting with you. And at that meeting, um, if the answer is no, we'll tell you no and we'll tell you why. And if we don't like you, we probably won't tell you we don't like you. We'll find some other reason, but we will tell you if we don't like your idea. And um, if we do like you, we'll get you back to meet the rest of the team within seven days of that first meeting. So we have, everybody thinks that VCs don't do pitches. We spent 18 months raising our fund. It was a real pain in the ass. We know that fundraising is a pain in the ass. So what we're trying to do is try, we're trying to make entrepreneurs uh, who deal with us, um, we're trying to make your lives easier until we invest and then we make life difficult for you. Um, so we're, um, we are, um, we're really focused on, um, once we have invested, is um, we're trying to help you. So I think there's some industry stats which say there are about four times more companies range angel, raise angel money than raise Series A. And our job in life is to get you from seed money, which is our money, to Series A, which is guys like Seth and Baldston and Index and all those guys. And that is all about helping you be clear what you need to achieve to get interest from those guys. So we've invested with those people so we understand what they're looking for at Series A. So we spend hours and hours working on pitch decks. I've spoken to a lot of people here about their pitch decks. You've got to be really, really focused. You've got to be really clear about what you're, what you're trying to do. And we conduct what we call a pre-mortem, which is an idea we've stolen from Daniel Kahneman. And a pre-mortem is, OK, so let's forward wind 18 months and say this has been a failure. So we've not raised money, we've run out of money. What are the, what are the barriers to, what are, what are the things that have happened in that 18 month period that have meant that we have failed? And we use that as the guide to de determining at board level, just monitoring, okay, so that was a risk we identified six months ago. How are, we gonna, how are we gonna either avoid making that mistake or mitigating the risk? And we think that's pretty powerful. Um, I've got two bits of advice. Don't raise too much money, because if you raise too much money, you'll get diluted too much, and you'll make really crap decisions. Um, but raise enough money so that you've got 18 months without making any sales, because things, sales will happen more slowly than, than you think they will. Um, and you, know, you, need to, you need to spend, you need to be laser focused on that first 12 months, and then spend the last six months fundraising, if you possibly can. So to sum up, we're a new team, but we are pretty experienced. Um, we're quick with a no, and we will get you to Series A. Uh, and we, are, we want to work with people who uh, don't need our help to be really successful, but want our help to be really, really, really successful. That's episode one.